Hey everybody, Cole Whip here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little bit something different for you. I'm gonna give you my top five favorite weapons to use inside of MWZ. Now keep in mind, your mileage may vary. These are by no means the top five absolute best meta guns that you can use inside of zombies. These are the top five guns that I personally enjoy using the most. So without further ado, we're gonna get into it. Let's kick it off with number five, the X-13 Auto. Number five. Kicking off this countdown with the X-13 Auto, the build is up on screen that we used during this gameplay. This is an MW2 pistol that was originally recommended to me by one of the viewers on the channel. So we hopped in, we got it legendary rarity, and right now you're watching footage of it at Pack a Punch 2. That is how well this gun just shreds through zombies, and it's a major part of the reason why I had so much fun using this weapon. Once you get this gun to Pack a Punch 3, just watch this the zombies just get deleted and it can do the same to the bosses look at the incredible damage we are doing to this mangler we do not even have napalm burst on we have the brain rot ammo mod right now but we are still just deleting through this mangler and when it comes to giant hordes of zombies just watch this gun in action we are just completely annihilating every single one of these zombies. They can't even get close to us. This gun is so much fun to use inside of MWZ, and I would highly, highly recommend this MW2 pistol. Mega abominations are no match for this pistol. Look at the chunks of damage taken away. This gun is so much fun, and that is why it is in my top five. Number four. Coming in at number four on my list is the MX-9. The build is on screen for you. I had so much fun using this. It's an MW2 SMG, and we are watching it right now shred through zombies at Pack-A-Punch 2. If you want to get the most out of this gun, you are going to want to run it with mags of holding as it has a very small magazine size, so it's almost essential to run this gun with mags of holding. And of course, once you get it to Pack-A-Punch 3, and with Deadshot Daiquiri, it's almost like the zombies don't even exist. You take them out so incredibly fast. Boss zombies, hellhounds, armored zombies, all of which are just insta-deleted with this MX-9. It's what makes this gun so much fun to use inside of MWZ. I wouldn't call it OP, but it's awful, awful close. It delivers cargo like nobody's business. But where this gun really shines is in its bounty damage inside of zombies. Let's watch this MX-9 take out this mega abomination in three, two, one, goodbye. That fast, it is that good. That's why it's in the top five. Number three. Next up on the countdown, we have the ISO 45 coming in at number three. It's another MW2 SMG. I originally discovered this weapon off of a wall buy and just had to take it in, get it legendary, and use it for myself with my own build, which I had up on screen for you. I hope you caught it, but just watch it rip through these zombies. This is why it is number three on the countdown. If you're enjoying this video, please consider dropping a like down below. It really does help this channel to continue to to grow hit that sub button turn on those notifications if you'd like your opportunity to play with me in the future on live streams or whatnot go ahead and join the discord below that's where you'll find information on how to do that one of the reasons I enjoy this gun as much as I do is it's kind of fast fire rate, but it's not too fast. So ammunition is never really a problem. As you watch us just take out this mega abomination, it's never really too much of a fight when you're fighting the bosses and you're fighting the hordes of zombies. And that's why it made number three in my list, but we're gonna move on. We have two more weapons to showcase for you today. Number two. I made a whole dedicated video on the number two gun on this list. It is the BP-50. It's an MW2 assault rifle, and at the time, it was my favorite weapon to use inside of MWC, but it has been replaced by a newcomer, which you will see coming up next in the video. This is a little bit of Pack-A-Punch 2 action with the BP-50. You can see it still shreds at Pack-2, but it's going to get even better once we get Deadshot Daiquiri and once we get it to Pack-A-Punch 3. Let's take a look. I mean, this gun will take out absolute everything from the Mimics to all of your zombies. They just erased with ease this Mangler thing. Thinks he can take us out, but he can't. Mimic wants a little bit of the action. 
he ain't going to get any of it. We're just going to delete them. We're going to delete the zombies like they never even existed. This gun was always my favorite to use before it was replaced by the number one gun on this list. You will absolutely rip shreds through bounties, including this mega abomination. And this gun is even better if you can run it with mags of holding so you don't have to constantly reload with the weapon. So just keep that in mind. If you're running this gun, try to run it with mags of holding. Number one. And that brings us to my number one most favorite gun to use inside of MWZ, the brand new SMG with season three, the FJX Porjas. This SMG is absolutely incredible inside of this game. It deletes through everything. I'm gonna throw the build up on screen that I used. It changes from time to time. I haven't really settled on a build just quite yet for this FJX but just watch it just absolutely annihilate this disciple as we start off this gameplay here. Absolutely incredible gun. Definitely my number one most favorite gun inside of MWZ. Mega Abominations are where this gun truly shines. Just look at that incredible damage that gets dealt to this bounty with this gun. I have taken out Mega Abominations in this game in under 30 seconds with this SMG. Its damage output is so incredibly high. Let's see if we can get one more laser attack here and we'll just finish this guy off. Maybe, huh? Come on, do it. Do it for us. No, come on, let's go do it i need to show the people the gun come on buddy the people want to see the people want to see let's go yes look at that look at that yes you can defeat strongholds with absolute ease with this gun it shreds just everything so incredibly fast just throwing on a couple of plates here while we just annihilate this entire horde while we're backed into a corner look at this go yes you if you haven't tried this weapon yet you need to give this gun a shot got a giant horde of zombies in a sport control contract it's not an issue with this gun at all what else what else can i say i'll let that gun just speak for itself and while we watch this gun take out this bounty mimic, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. This has been my top five favorite guns to use inside of MWZ. As I said at the start, they may not be the five most OP overpowered things that you can use, but they are my favorite weapons to use for one reason or another. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, consider subscribing to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. If you'd like a chance to play with me live on stream, join our discord. The link is in the description. Check the pinned comments for the ways in which to do that. Thank you for watching. My name is Cole Whip and I'm out.